How are you feeling? Feverish? Sick? <laughs> What's going on here? We are in Lazarus's mansion. About a week and a half away from wrapping up season four. Are you really doing miracles? Mary, be delicate. Are you like your character Martha in real life? Do you find yourself more on the Mary side or more on the Martha side? Some are saying, and you are not denying. Mary, not now. I did an audition for Martha when I found out that I got that role, I was like, oh my gosh, how did he know? <laughs> it's funny, I have a very long age old debate with my mom that she's Martha and I'm Mary because she's always very intensely prepared for guests and there's like this energy she has when she goes into the kitchen that's like scary, if I'm being honest. And she puts on an amazing meal and everyone feels very well taken care of, but it's intimidating. So I right. definitely identify with Mary a lot. getting into that final week and a half of filming. Everybody's still working hard. Just also notice people start to play hard as well. But I die. I'm already dead. I'm dead. You can't I kill me if I'm dead. And I'm sure you can guess what adding a night shoot on top of this can do. They had this running gag that Amber got good at where she would rub her fingers together right by somebody's ear and it'd sound like a bug flew by. There are two scenes going on. One is inside Lazarus's house and one is outside on his porch. But as a scene in here is going on, the disciples need to know when to come in. So Danny is gonna cue them when to come in. It's also amazing and magical. I'm sure you're wondering what Lazarus Mansion actually looks like. Let's take a look. We are in Lazarus's mansion. This is where they eat. And I guess this is where they lounge. There's an actual sunroof. So if it rains, everything's gonna get wet. What once upon a time was the front gate to Jerusalem is now a window into one of Lazarus's rooms. He took outside and <laughs> made it inside. And now there's a curtain here and it's walled off. Every time I discover how they reuse sets, I'm just Floor. And action. How are you feeling? Feverish? Sick? <laughs> What's going on here? I'm uh, just uh, scorching right now. It is hot yeah. out here. Our last big scene was I am the law of Moses. And when Jesus says that, I am the law of Moses. How does this impact Lazarus moving forward? As it says in scripture, I mean, he's laying down his life for his friend. Lazarus unwittingly just gives himself over to protect his friend. And the rumors, whether they're true or not, he accepts them. I, I don't think he has a real complete understanding until after the resurrection of who this is. But it seems like Lazarus just accepts Jesus for who he is and doesn't exactly know who he is yet. As, as a true friend would do. He doesn't forget that they were children together, that they grew up together, you know, and his love for his friend is deep. Without giving away too many spoilers, so I think we can all guess some big event is on the way. Or some other dude comes out, it's not Lazarus. Hey, what's going on? I'm Carl. <laughs> <laughs> what are you most looking forward for fans to see between Jesus and Lazarus in season four? what exactly that post-resurrection Lazarus is going to be. Who is that man? What did he experience? How does he interact with this man who's his friend, but not only his friend, but the Son of God? Well, it was so much fun getting to hang out in Lazarus' house, but next week... The one thing we don't want to do is add days to filming. Right now, we are in a storm delay. Hit that bell, buy the subscribe button, and that subscribe button so you don't miss the final week.